Broken Alliance. Let's start. It's currently in development. Some features are still incomplete missing. You may run into bugs. No problem. I get it. Thanks for playing this demo. And if you enjoy it, please wishlist us on Steam. Smells of the brine of the vast and unfathomable ocean. It has not been an easy journey, though not the worst you've had either. Still, you felt the shift on the road. Times have grown tense and perilous. The factions quarrel, threatening reprisal over any transgression, insult, grievance. They threaten each other with war. They threaten the future of Ale itself. Yet, there is, as always, a glimmer of hope. If the leaders of the four factions agree to attend the gathering, if they find a peaceful way out of this peril. And so, Anchorage, the first on your list, draws closer with every step. Onwards then, Emissary. Beside you stands Pryor. The silent apostate. Ahead awaits your other companion, Yorick, the Elden Hawk, having returned from his reconnoiter. Alright. To move the camera, use WASD to move your hero. Click or drag. Sure, I'll click that. Double click on the commander icon below. Hey, I have an army. It's uh, just me. Oh, it's not true. I have a prior. I have to invite or near three to the gathering. Was I supposed to do something else? <laughs> oh, that's a lovely animation. Yorick, your compatriot on many expeditions. His armor covered in dust and bramble. A bold warrior. He came on the journey for the same reason you did. For all the banter, he also strives for peace. In actual war, warriors do not last for long. Took you long enough, emissary? He's beginning to think you got yourself lost without me. The scales of his armor clink as he attempts to shake the dust from him. And we know you can't rely on Pryor there. He can't fight a path even when standing on it. Prior gestures at Yorick in a way which can only be interpreted as vulgar, then grins. Worry not, friends, the road looks clear. No foes in sight. A shame, too. I wanted to fight something. Uh, Am I supposed to read that? Okay. <laughs> eh? Not this time. Can't make two life easy for you. Anything else to report? Nothing much. Oh, seems calm enough. The easterly road will lead us to Skithheim. Let's get going then. Time is of the essence. Everything else is voice acted, except my character's lines. Um, where am I going? No spells. Cool. I have no resources of any kind. Uh, I have this arrow, but it doesn't tell me what I need to do. I have to go to Ornir 3. Is that Ornir 3? Oh, I need to follow this road, probably. Hmm, okay. It's just nothing but town. Okay, can't do that. Oh, a horse. Oh, a fight. I see a shield maiden, noble fighter of Anchorage, protector of the people, come flame and storm. Her armor gleams in the frigid sunlight as she brushes the mane of her war horse. The sawmill is off limits. If you wish to use it, bring approval from High Inquisitor or near. That's not a fight. That's just being being told I can't do a thing. Half of a wooden bridge lies ahead. The river Elivahar 
flows down from the towering mountains in the west, cutting through Anchorage lands on its way to the ocean. Ugh, no way across, unless we want to go for a little swim. I'd rather not. Let's find resources to rebuild the bridge. Wood will suffice. Plenty of it to go around. Bound to be a sawmill somewhere. Got it. I heard there was a sawmill somewhere. Let's go find it. Could it be in this direction? Can't go. Oh, there's a wall. Or there's a door. Hold the gates of Skithheim. Mighty capital of Anchorage. Guards patrol the ramparts while banners in blue cerulean turquoise flutter overhead. You hear the booming call of a horn, and the gates slowly begin to open, granting you entrance into its wind-stricken streets. The interior of the town hall is designed to display the splendor of Anchorage. The walls are adorned with murals of historical battles and triumphant victories, some perhaps more dubious than others. The central gallery cutting through the hall is lined with intricate sculptures of legendary Inheriar, gifted to the Hersir of Anchorage by masterful Trolkin artisans. The figure waiting by the hearth is aged, his beard gray. Yet he still stands proud and tall, the honored High Inquisitor of Anchorage, leader of the Alliance through endless hardships. He turns to face you, one eye smirking. Emissary, ravens have foretold of your arrival. His severe voice is undercut by a tinge of mockery. Scouts and outriders, I take it. He shrugs in reply. Well, we didn't try to trek across your lands unseen, so I applaud them for their perceptiveness. Take it you know why I have come? Of course. A gathering of the leaders of Aeol in the ruins before Ishros. A common ground. Notably, watched over by the specters of our ancestors. Tell me, who set you on this little expedition? That's not for me to say. How enigmatic. <laughs> but it does pique my interest a fair bit. <laughs> so, will you attend the gathering? Hmm. I'm considering it. I am, after all. A man of peace. The Alliance of Anchorage was formed to safeguard stability and order. And I won't be the one to betray my forebears. We'll make sure the factions stay in line. In their blind recklessness, they dabble with magic, putting all of us in danger. Deceivers and trespassers. He trails off, mumbling off a slew of unclear indictments, then snaps his attention back to you. However, to tell the truth, I'm not convinced you'll make it to the mountain. The path is dangerous. <laughs> Yorick fails in his attempt to stifle a derisive snort. This Elden Hawk may be of warrior stock. Well, that remains to be seen. First, prove yourself worthy by defeating my warrior at the sawmill. If my shield maiden reports of your honorable victory, I will attend the gathering. Besides, you need wood to rebuild a bridge that was recently swept away by a deluge. If this is how to prove our fortitude, then so be it. My thanks, High Inquisitor. Ah, I've always wanted to battle a Valkyrie. Suppose a shield maiden will have to do. I feel like I'm playing an audiobook. I look forward to combat. 
Not that there's anything wrong with audiobooks. You see a shield maiden, noble fighter of Anchorage, protector of the people, come flame and storm. Her armor gleams in the frigid sunlight as she brushes the mane of her war horse. Welcome, Emissary. Talk of your quest seems to be spreading fast. Are you tough enough for what lies ahead? Don't underestimate us, lass. In my time, I've fought worse than you. That's what we're here to find out, Sir Hog. The shield maiden mounts her horse, preparing her armaments. Defeat me in honorable combat, and you may continue your quest. If you fail here, you will be no match for the dangers that lie ahead. There we go, York. I kept my promise of a fight. I wish we'd had that bed. Oh, I'd be sleeping on a mound of golden coins tonight. York chomps on a mushroom, then readies his mace and shield. Prior, solemn for once, arms crossed in front of his chest, bows deeply to the shield maiden. <laughs> I have a deck. <laughs> oh, this is a game. That's right. In combat, start by choosing a card from your deck, then select one of your champions to use the card. After, select a target based on the card type. Okay, I have to drag a uh, champion. Do I do I put both of them? So where do I put them? I put them there, I guess. Prior is a range unit and can attack from afar. York is a melee tank and can only attack enemies next to him or run them over with his treads. I have unlimited move, unlimited power bash, unlimited attack, and unlimited berserk. But it costs power, it looks like. Probably move somewhere like there. Because they're going to move forward and I'm going to regret whatever happens. Hmm. Let's just end the turn. See what happens. Oh, right in the... Right in the warrior. What if you do the attack? Oh, maybe I shouldn't because there's retaliation. Uh-oh. Fact the weakness in this strategy. Attack, no retaliation, sick. Time to move. Why can't I? Oh. Shoot them. No, don't chase me. Aha. The shield maiden raises her blade in resignation, then thrusts it into the ground. A sign of respect from a noble guardian of Anchorage. She brushes her auburn hair away from her face. Well fought, Emissary. You have proven your mettle. Be careful, though, on your path. The creatures of Slaumir are not to be trusted. The magic of Phobos is noxious. We'll manage. The chance for diplomacy is too important to waste. We all wish for peace. But sometimes, the only way to maintain order is through strength. In any case, the High Inquisitor will be notified of your success. You may use the sawmill. She picks up her sword and sheaths it, turning to leave. Do I also get wood? Building captured. Yes, I would like to exploit the resources. The forests that cover Ao, used for construction, fuel, tools, and weapons. Abundant and versatile. Alongside all, 
It is the most commonly used material. It grows on trees. Oh. Yet be wary of excessive logging warms paradise. It may draw the wrath of the Earth Mother. For trees also live and breathe and are connected to the land below. Let it pair. A bridge is not easy, but after some hearty labor, the task is done. Not a moment too soon, the thought crosses your mind. And you didn't fall into the water once. The road to the portal heads due north. Ah, alt tells me things I can click on. What's this? Cool. The piece of gold glints in the sunlight. A precious mineral used for trade all across El. Mortals dig for it. Mortals mold and process it. Mortals fight and die over it. A mere substance of the soil, its value is arbitrary. Based on that very glint and the tacit agreement between mortals who have deemed it to have value. Still, one cannot deny. Especially when holding a piece of gold between their fingers, the powerful effect it has. The real question is, who left it here? And where are they right now? The is a stone platform raised slightly above the rest of the ground. Its surface, ancient and scarred, is covered with various unknown symbols and glyphs. The air around the platform throbs and pulses with vast magical energy. Uh, never been fond of these. Teleportation's not a natural way to travel. Yorick shudders, his spines bristling. Makes it much faster, though, for all the good and ill that it brings. Makes me queasy in the stump is what it does. It doesn't feel right. You sure it's not all those mushrooms you keep gobbling down? <laughs> Yorick snorts, then wags his finger. Queasy it may be, but it solves the issue of long-distance travel for the time being. Step onto the platform and jump into the abyss, emissary. Aha! Oh, I gotta press Alt. Doesn't matter, it doesn't do anything. Cool. Northward is to the core mine, eastward is to Tenebrae, and westward to the portal. We have to go to Tenebrae. All of the leaders have to attend. There's no point in the negotiations. Aye, but these Vobosians give me the jitters. A faint shiver passes through York's spiny backside. Prior, his brow furled, signs a criticism, followed by a question. Yeah, you just haven't met enough of them, especially the prophets and their ilk. The flock, I mean, the orderlies who run Phobos. Suppose they're trying to unnerve us on purpose, crafting a facade of intimidation. Well, it works. That's for sure. They're just like any of us. Come now. We've lingered too long. Hop, 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 hop. Hop, 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 hop. Ah. The ominous town hall of Tenebrae looks far more pleasant on the inside. The walls are covered with colorful tapestries. On them, various strange creatures posing in unnerving ways, doing unidentifiable acts. Yet there is something lively about all of them. The craft of these is remarkable, the material smooth and soft, woven of spider silk spun by the horrors of Phobos. In the middle of the hole stands a shadowy creature, one of the prophets, arms raised in greeting. Dark obscurity surrounds them in the form of a mantle, a multitude of eyes intermittently blinking within it. A guest in our citadel. Their voice echoes through the hall, the direction it's coming from difficult to discern. Welcome. 
visitor and partake in our hospitality. What brings you to us? A gathering of leaders at Mount Ishros to talk of peace and ease the tensions at the old ruins. Ah, certainly. Age-old capital of the forgotten people. But we remember. <laughs> Nothing but dust now. <sighs> Nothing but dust. Yeah. Is dust what we will one day also become? Or are we dust already? Lacking comprehension, animated only by the potency of magic. The umbral mantle around the Prophet whirls with increasing speed. So then, Emissary, we take it you wish us to attend? Yeah. Everyone is needed. But what is this peace to us? We children of Phobos, followers of the hallowed creator, ever tormented by our neighbors, hated by the other factions for who we are, <laughs> what we are. They come at us with blade and spear and axe and spell to kill us and to steal from us. Because they feel it. Fear of the unknown. Ah, dark times are ahead. But we embrace change. We thrive in it. That is our strength. Then share this with the others. You have legitimate complaints, I agree. This is what the gathering is for. <laughs> An eruption of laughter booms from every direction of the hall at once. Alas, would that we could see trouble already bruise. The road to our portal is blocked, and our manor refinery is seized from us. If you would be so kind to reconquer it, then surely one good deed will be met with another. Ah, the refinery will provide enough mana to clear the way, though where you get a spell is not our concern. Don't you have troops and workers for this kind of work? The many eyes narrow in what feels like ridicule. All right, I'll help. I'll have your word that you're come to the gathering. A murmur of madness nods. Before I go, you already knew who I was and what I came here for before I arrived, didn't you? A murmur of madness stands in silence, but you can still sense the mischievous smile that isn't there. They wave you to depart. Uh, should I click that? No, I think I should leave. So this is a good audiobook. I'm enjoying the voice acting, and uh, you know, I'd, I'd keep, I'd continue playing this for a while. Uh, but I have another demo to get to, so I have to park it here. But I like this so far. There's not much, not much game. Wouldn't say it's got its claws into me or anything yet. But yeah, Broken Alliance. Check it out.